Hi guys, so today I want to assemble three different outfits for you guys, ones that I think that you probably have in your own wardrobe, and then just adding pieces on top of them that make them really unique and put together. So let's get started. So this first outfit is pretty great for winter. Of course, if you live in somewhere really a lot colder, then you might wanna adapt this a bit. But I'm gonna start with just a black turtleneck and then a basic pair of jeans. And then I'm wearing some black socks too. This J. Crew turtleneck, um, it's like a tissue turtleneck and it's very thin. And I just like that it's nice to be able to have something that's not bulky as a base layer. The jeans that I got are some of my favorites, but it's by and other stories and I don't believe that they make these anymore but I'll link everything down below that is similar or like you know something that you can find that would remotely resemble this. I also get all of my jeans tailored for the most part. It's very hard to find jeans for someone who's 5'1". So uh, it's just helpful to always go to the tailor. It doesn't take much time. So for shoes, I'm actually hopping on the Doc Martens bandwagon. These are combat style boots and I really like them because they have a bit of a heel to them. Although I will say that it has been a challenge trying to find just the right type of outfit for someone who's like my height and my build because they are chunky. And so you'll see how I style this outfit as like a whole um, because I think that it's really important to have things that are elongating for something like this. Next, I wanna add a belt. I feel like this outfit is just completely transformed by adding a belt. I don't know what it is, it's just, I think because it adds a little bit of an edge to it, it makes the outfit just look more put together in general. And this is a black belt by J. Crew. Next, I'm gonna be using my Aritzia coat. This is something that I bought last fall, and so they've made much warmer coats since then. Um, they've discontinued this exact coat, uh, but definitely check out the Aritzia coats because I like the way that they just make it very like flowy and beautiful and yet still it's slim and edgy and I, I just love the whole thing and I kind of feel like a rock star when I wear this jacket. <laughs> I like to be able to wear a lighter coat because it just kind of accommodates where I live but then also if I was going to take a trip up north I would wear some layers underneath that were much warmer and then also the way that I'm going to be doing this outfit I'm actually going to be adding a couple of other things but first I want to add some necklaces so the first necklace that I'm using is my necklace by Windblown Jewelry it's called the Rise Necklace it's brass and it's very affordable and it's handmade by one of my good friends so definitely check out her site and then also I'm going to be adding my Aphrodite necklace which is more of an heirloom piece it's gold plated and it's double sided so it's really great if it like twists around or anything like it's not gonna look like your necklace is you know showing it backwards and you're not going to have anything on it so yeah I'm actually wearing the Aphrodite right now next I'm going to be adding a beige hat so I'm making it a little bit warmer and I just love the way that a lot of people are wearing their knit hats these days and so that's what I'm doing today I like to have it folded up and so it's not going to have like tons of bulk on the end anymore like it's gonna be more upright and lastly if you are familiar with my channel you'll know that I've been wearing this scarf like all season long it's an Everlane long knit scarf and I just love the fact that it makes my flowy outfit look just extra flowy and fun um, and it's very just like slenderizing and grown up and if I want to, I can just wrap it around my head a few times and then it also has just a completely different look that way. So if I really wanna bundle up, I can do it that way too, just depending on how I'm feeling at the moment. For outfit two, I wanted to pick out an outfit that I wear all year round and then transform it into something that's maybe a little bit better for when the weather's a little bit colder and just how I've been kind of updating it. Okay, so starting with my all-time favorite, Everlane Crops Tea. I not even sure if they're selling crop teas right now. I very much doubt that they are, but I will try to find another company that is selling them right now. One thing that I like about a crop tea is for someone with my build, I think it's really great for like pear-shaped people that, you know, it's, it's going to elevate that line where my waistline is and it's also going to accentuate that as like my 
smallest point, but then also I want to have a high rise skirt with it. So I'm wearing the Elizabeth Suzanne Bell skirt, which is made out of silk. She's got a couple other uh, options if you don't want the silk version. And I will say that Elizabeth Suzanne is one of the pricier brands that I wear, but everything that I've gotten from her is something that I still have worn for like all of this time, ever since I bought it. I bought this skirt about a year ago and it's still going strong. I've got other pieces from her that are like two years old and they just don't go out of style. So if you're looking for something very like a classic staple in your wardrobe, I would look there. She's also got some really great standards as far as like what happens behind the curtain. But I will link like other options as well if that's just not your price point right now. I just love the fact that this skirt in particular is something I can wear high-waisted and you can choose to have like a short version if you're petite like me or tall. Um, she has different, uh, just all different sizes. So yeah, that's really cool. The way I want to wear it today is I love to wear it with my Mariella Mules. Um, anything from Elizabeth Suzanne pairs very well with Nasolo, who are actually two Nashville handmade brands. I just think that the, they complement each other very well. So I actually wanna add a sweater on top of this outfit. And the one that I'm wearing today is one that Everlane sent me actually. So this one is an oversized alpaca crew. I swear I have been wearing this all the time. Like anytime I'm even in my pajamas and I've really considered sleeping in it <laughs> and I, I won't because I actually wanna take care of it and not like roll around in it <laughs> but I will say that it is extremely light it feels just like it's a cloud and it's about just as soft as cashmere it has sleeves that taper toward the ends so it almost looks like it has a puffed sleeve and I also like the fact that it's a crew it's kind of nice to be able to have my cropped tee underneath and then just put this on top so it's extra cozy um, and it won't like irritate my skin at all. I feel like my skin is like extremely sensitive. So I like to wear something underneath a sweater sometimes, but I, I mean still like this is extremely soft and wouldn't irritate most people's skin. Because it's a sweater and because my skirt is very elastic on the band, it's going to just kind of widen my waistline. So I'm going to actually just tuck in the front a little bit and then pull it out just a little so that it doesn't look completely tucked in, if you know what I mean. So on the side, you can really tell I've got it just tucked in a little bit and the rest of it just kind of tapers and, and comes out. So that's how I'm wearing it today. Again, this outfit, is so much different when I put on my necklaces. I feel like it just takes it to another level. So I'm wearing a couple of different ones. One is the Aphrodite necklace again, and then also I'm wearing a snake chain necklace that is what Estee Lalonde made for Daisy jewelry. And so really love this thing a lot. I think that there's a lot of detail in this that I wasn't expecting. It's just your standard snake chain necklace, but then it's got little you know imprints on it of like a daisy, and I just think it's the most gorgeous thing. And I I also like to wear this necklace with outfits that are a little less formal. So it works with formal ones, but it's really great a uh, piece of jewelry for outfits that you know, are a little bit casual. And so it's not like overdone too much. It just has a nice casual flair to it. For the third outfit, I wanted to start out with something very basic that I feel like a lot of people might have in their closet. So this is a black collared shirt. And then also the pants are just white pants. But the ways that are a little bit different with these pieces is that this shirt that I'm wearing is a silk shirt. It's one that I've actually had since last like fall of 2017. So I've had this for quite a long time. This is an Everlane silk shirt, but they've cleaned up their silk process a lot. And so they've got a clean silk shirt now that's pretty much identical that I'll link down below. And then the pants are the Jessie Cam Rangers. And so they're very high-waisted. Um, they're about as high-waisted pants as is on the market that I've found. <laughs> and so they've that those have been pairs that I've had for like, maybe a couple years as well. So they're holding up really well and as many times as I've worn them, it really justifies the cost, but I'll also link some that are very com comparable that are a little bit on the cheaper end too. For shoes, I'm wearing these Cezanne boots. You guys had a lot of questions about them over on Instagram, so I'll run through a few just off the top of my head right now. One of the things about these shoes is when I first put them on I, in a different color, I, I loved them so much that I ended up getting a black pair and I have a brown pair, that's the first one I wore. When I first put them on, I felt like, whoa, 
the air is thinner up here. I feel so high up. <laughs> But I have to say that even though there's not much cushion, it is a comfortable shoe. And I think that why it is is because it's structured in a way that holds your foot. And so it doesn't have like a lot of cushion, but it's got the, the, the form of how your foot should be. And, that's, and the heel too is a little bit chunkier. So I just think that overall, this is not an uncomfortable shoe. It's not as comfortable as say like my my Timberland Glancies are extremely comfortable um, because there's just so much cushion. What I like about these ones is that it's got all of this stuff up here, but I was so excited when I saw that it has a zipper on the side, so I do not have to fuss with tying them all the time. And then they also came with some soles on the bottom that have a little bit more grip that you could attach separately if you felt the need to do that. Overall, these have been one of my favorite boots to wear this season. For jewelry, this time I'm wearing the Nakia necklace from Pamela Card, and then I'm also just adding that snake chain necklace again. I really like this combo because it's like a shorter necklace, just so that it's really seen when I'm wearing my shirt with it buttoned up this high. So one thing that I like to do with my collared shirts is instead of leaving them kind of up, Sometimes I like to just fold them down a little bit and it opens up that neckline a little bit more And especially since I want to show off the jewelry that I'm wearing That's just kind of how I'm wearing it So more flat and open up top is really the key here next I'm adding a free people corduroy jacket and this jacket is supposed to be a little bit oversized and because I'm small this thing does feel very oversized on me um, and so I wanted to kind of experiment with that this season I wanted an oversized look and I didn't know if it would be like too much I think that the key if you want an oversized jacket without looking like it's you're you know small <laughs> like I am is to wear something underneath it that is structured, that has that, it just basically needs to not look frumpy. Like the pants that I'm wearing are kind of more on the tighter end and they're up high, like they're high waisted. And so that, that leg length is really going to help me if I want to wear something that's more on the frumpy side on top. So that's kind of the key with this jacket. I wouldn't wear this if I had baggy pants underneath or like low rise, like, or if I had a big sweater that I wasn't tucking in, I wouldn't do that. So with a jacket like this, I'm just making sure everything's tucked in, looks really structured underneath. And I, I actually am really impressed with this jacket. I like the fact that the sleeves are a little bit longer and I like all of these little cuffs and everything all over it. It just is something that seems like I got it out of Zach's closet and m adapted it for my own needs. <laughs> So that's really perfect because menswear is trending right now too. And so this is a way that I can adapt that. And also corduroy is a big trend too. So this is going to be so perfect for this season. And I plan to wear it way beyond this season too. So that's about it. I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. And then also, I just want to say too, if you could subscribe and turn on the bell notification because I have a ton of content coming up and just my calendar is absolutely packed with awesome ideas. So I really can't wait to share with you all of the things in the future and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.